Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life, and today I'm going to do something I've been procrastinating about for, oh my gosh, six years now? Yeah, today I am going to build a customized desk for the fifth wheel. Come along, let me show you how I'm going to do it. Jerry, well, John and I have had this fifth wheel. This is a gateway fifth wheel uh, by Heartland, and we bought it for a number of reasons. One is uh, the big space that we have here for our living area. I've shown this in several videos in the past, but if you have never seen it, this is our living area that we have in our fifth wheel. One of the reasons that we like a fifth wheel so much. And yes, it does not look like a traditional fifth wheel because uh, we took all that leatherette, uh, for lack of a better term, plastic furniture out very, very early on within the first year of our ownership, put in an apartment style sofa. I'll get to the desk here in just a second, but you can see these are, these are apartment style because we had to fit that through the 29 inch doorway and then some uh, Euro recliners and those types of things. But the focus of today's video is my workspace. And what I've done is taken this, this is a dinette. This is the standard dinette that came. Uh, I can't spin it because of what I've done with the monitors, but this dinette, as you see here, is designed to be able to fold that way for travel, as well as turn lengthwise. There's a key up underneath it that you can turn lengthwise and sit for people. I'm going to put some resources at ilovervlife.com for today's blog. One will be a cut sheet. I'm going to be able to build this whole entire desk with one four by eight sheet of plywood. And I'm using a good high quality furniture grade, cabinet grade plywood. It's a birch sheet. They're $60 a sheet, um, and that's about all I'm gonna have into this. That, some screws, a couple drawer slides, and a little bit of polyurethane and some stain. So I'm really gonna be able to do this whole entire customized desk for under $100. I'm excited about that. And if I can pull this off, it's going to be furniture grade in looks, and it's also going to match the existing stain. That's going to be a little tough to do it, but kind of match this decor that we already have here in the fifth wheel. So I don't want an odd duck any more than I have to have in here. I want it to look built in and look, look very, very nice from that standpoint. But functionality is very key. Plenty of workspace, maximizing my workspace, and then have some storage that I don't currently have. All right, so what we're gonna do next is take out this desktop and um, take off the monitors and we're gonna get to building. Now, one of the things that you will notice, you'll see this, you can see actually how I have it fastened down here. I'm not going to mount it to that any longer. I will be mounting it to the new desk. I am going to retain that. And then I've got uh, this power strip that you located here. I'm going to be taking that off the back of the wall and I'm actually going to be mounting that inside the desk for some cable management just to keep the wires. Um, you know, now I've got wires all over the place that you can see here. And if I'm going to go to all this trouble of making a new, de new desk, I might as well do something for cable management. So we will, we will be retaining all this. This is the bracket that I was telling you about. This thing is super rock solid. So I'm going to have this end of my desk here will be floating. There won't be anything, you know, no, nothing down on the side. And that's very, very beneficial. All this, all this is getting ready to come down. It didn't take but just a couple minutes really to remove the old dinette and then move the monitors, et cetera, et cetera, and clean all that space up. So again, you can see 
how substantial that is. I definitely want to be able to use that. Well, the only thing left to do now is go build the desk. I've got some really neat tricks I'll talk to you about as we go to the garage. I'm going to be putting a solid face uh, on this. It's really going to be a bit tricky to cut out, but I think it's going to make a really, really nice, you know, furniture grade front end on it. A lot of pocket screws, things like that. So we're going to really make this desk look super, super nice. So let's head out to the shop and get started. Okay, I've moved in the shop. Uh, I've got a four by eight sheet of three quarter inch birch plywood. This stuff is expensive, 60 bucks a sheet. So we're going to be like super careful cutting this stuff. But uh, it is pretty. It makes a very, very nice cabinet grade. Um, we'll just call it furniture grade, cabinet grade stuff. Uh, the finish is just really spectacular. It's got some really nice um, grain patterns in it. I think it's going to make a pretty desk. I really do. Um, so we're going to be cutting this. Um, I've got it out here flat. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the first piece uh, with a skill saw just because my table saw is not big enough to be able to handle something like that. What I'm going to do in this video is kind of take you through some of the basic steps on what it takes to be able to make a, a good cabinet or a good piece of RV furniture and uh, show you just a few of the tricks that I use. I've been doing this stuff for a long time and um, I, I think you'll find it interesting and in just really how easy it is if you know you want to make something custom for your RV, just really how simple it is to make something nice and uh, something that you'll be proud of. Okay, let's, uh, let's start cutting this out. So I create a cut sheet and you'll, you'll notice here it's, um, it's got various lines and so forth and I actually spend, you know, sometimes as much as, you know, an hour putting one of these together but it's time very, very well spent. So if you're wanting to build this project or, or something similar to it once I get completed, um, I will put this on the blog at ilovervlife.com as a PDF and you'll be able to download it. Um, it will be a PDF, um, but you could always, you know, change the dimensions and do that type of stuff. So, you know, take, a, you know, take whatever tool that you like to use <laughs> to be able to lay one of these out. I'm a Microsoft fan. I use Visio. SketchUp is another good one that you can use as well. And your calculator and just start getting to work and then just making sure that um, you save as much of this expensive plywood as possible. All right, we got a few more cuts to make. shop today and uh, we've got everything cut out. I hope you were able to refer to that cut sheet. You can download it. Go to the blog at ilovervlife.com. You'll have a PDF to where you can download that. So with all the pieces cut out, uh, we're going to start the assembly. I'll show you parts of what we use to uh, assemble something like this. I'll show you some excerpts here as we go forward. We want to make this really good and sturdy. Uh, we don't want it coming apart or getting loose as we go down these really bumpy roads in the fifth wheel. So I've got my new JBL earbuds in. This was a gift for me during Christmas. I love these things. Gives me some hearing protection and great sound. And I'm going to put me some David Sanborn on and we're going to get to building. Let's go. We've made some really good progress. Um, I haven't showed all the little details. Kind of just show you this. This is just a box that I've built here. Uh, and then I put a band on the front to give a, if you can look at that, it'll give a really nice finish to the front, a furnished finish. 
And um, I think that'll be nice. Um, you can kind of see a, another little view right there, how it will look. Now I know this looks weird. What's going on here, Jerry? Well, I've done a couple things here to really make this thing super heavy duty to handle all the vibration, but where's the rest of it? Let me show you. Here's the rest of it, of the desk area. Just kind of see what, what we'll be using here. And then I'll be putting a, a full length piano hinge that will go back here in the back. So here will be my nice work surface. And then I'll be able to open this up. And this is where I'll store things like hard drives and keyboards and things like that when I'm not using it and keep it clean. And then this will be on a, on a big piano hinge. That's going to be really, really, really nice. I'm going to like this. So, all right, we're going to call it quits for the day. This took a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow, we're going to uh, create the shelf that goes down here at the bottom. And then uh, a good thorough sanding. Uh, we'll start uh, putting coats of stain on it and some really nice satin polyurethane, a couple coats of that, and then install it and rock and roll. All right, we're back in the shop, and uh, we're just about getting through with, uh, with the build. Um, I am getting ready. You saw this in uh, the, the last section of the video um, where I'm getting ready to put this lid on. I've got this very long uh, piano hinge. I, I want this to really be supported, and uh, it's a little long. It's 48 inches. I'll have to cut the end off, and I'll show you putting this thing on. Uh, this is kind of like... The main reason I'm doing it is the secret sauce of the build, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, I've got some Marvin Gaye tunes on today. <laughs> Look, woodworking is my therapy, and um, I love good soul music when I'm working. So we're going to listen to Marvin. Come on, let's, uh, let's get this thing finished. Sanding. I'm going to put some magnetic latches probably down here just to keep this thing from bouncing. That's fantastic. Good fit. That's nice. Another little sanding. I'll put some banding on here and um, it'll be rock and roll. Gosh, that looks nice. Look at that. That's going to be cool. <laughs> Turned out better than I thought. All right, let's start building some shelves.
so if you look at plywood, it's got this, you know, kind of a layered hole pockmark. we got this nice, you know, pretty finish on the wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called banding. And what this banding does, it's a thin piece of veneer and you literally iron it on. And it just, oh, it just takes this plywood and makes it look solid. If I was using a solid wood, which is not gonna happen, then um, you know, I wouldn't have to do that. But uh, what I'm gonna do is just take some sandpaper here and just kind of finish, uh, finish this off a little bit. It doesn't have to be too much. Just uh, kind of smooth it up a little bit. And then this banding is actually a hard wood. So this is what it looks like. It's just, uh, People, it's referred to as banding. Um, this brand is actually called Bandit. It's a real wood veneer. Um, the reason I use real wood veneer is it'll stain, you know, it'll take a stain. So I'm just gonna throw some extra down there. And then you put, get you an iron, and uh, you put it on the uh, cotton setting and rock and roll. And then we'll trim it with a razor blade and um, do a little sanding. Get that glue good and hot. And you will take your iron and uh, put it on, you know, your hottest setting, cotton, linen, something like that. And you don't want to leave it on too long. You don't want to scorch your wood. And then take your plastic roller. Just, you know, make sure that glue gets down into the wood. This is used in uh, do, to do seams on uh, wallpaper. And sometimes a little glue will come out. And you may be asking yourself, is that a left-handed iron? It, it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I'm left-handed. <laughs> Very left-handed. So you can see the difference here between, this is the unfinished area, and I'll come back and pick this one up, and then I'm actually putting the tape on now. And it's just, I mean, look at that. It's just going to give it such a super finish here. Just love this stuff. And again, it's inexpensive. And it's a, a way to really step up your woodworking project. The days finally got here. We've completed the major part of the build. So I've already brought the uh, cabinet in here that'll have the uh, computer slide and so forth. And I'm uh, going to go out and get the top 
and we're going to get this fixed. Then I'll have a few little small kind of like tweaks uh, for mounting the monitors and all those kinds of things. But I am excited about getting to this point. Uh, let's get this thing installed. I'm excited about this. This is uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a great work surface and wait till you see all the tricks I've got down here. I can't wait to show you that as well. Uh, places to put the UPS in the back, uh, cable management, and this is gonna be awesome. Awesome! Well, I'm happy to say that it is done and it turned out fantastic. I'm so pleased with this. Uh, you can see the setup that we have here and uh, how it's going to be working. Uh, let me show you some of the features now that I've got it done. Um, so you see I've got both of my monitors that are placed here for, for travel. And um, then this is a new addition that I didn't have with the dinette, and that is this uh, custom shelf. Now, this will be things, I use something called a business journal. Um, it's just, you know, something like a uh, a five subject notebook that I keep up with you know all my day activities and those types of things before I log them down and uh, that'll give me a place to put those types of things when uh, I just want to clean the desktop up and then you'll see I've actually got the PC running you may actually hear it um, but I want to show you this feature this is pretty neat I'm gonna see if I can do this one-handed first of all you'll see that I've got a latch Let's see if I can get in there I've got a latch in here and then a bracket that I built. And then I can pull this latch out and then you'll see I can pull my PC out when I'm going to be, you know, taking it out if I need to work on it. And then you see these big heavy duty straps that I screwed on, these big Velcro straps that uh, will hold it in place. This thing is really, really in there, especially after I uh, put the latch in lock it in place that's not going anywhere when we travel you see how rigid that is so that'll be able to handle the bumps and uh, that's pretty exciting so i've got a great work surface here plenty of room uh, for keyboards where is the keyboard where is the mouse this is one of the big things that i wanted to really be able to do here is to have the storage you'll notice i've got backup hard drives that i can put in here and if you can see it i have foam rubber in here this is one inch foam rubber to kind of give it some cushioning when we travel down the road and it won't bounce and beat things up. Uh, I've noticed my power strip. I have power strip back here for the biggies, you know, all my camera batteries, all those types of things, uh, the hard drive, etc., to keep things charged up. And then I can put them in here, you know, that out of sight, out of mind type thing. And then I can just pull my, uh, you know, when we're not traveling, uh, there we go. We're, you know, we can, we can take off and do our thing. And uh, I've got my workspace and when we're ready to travel, I can just, you know, take everything, put it back in here, store it, and uh, you'll see this little thing right here. I put a, a cabinet a, a cabinet latch in here to keep that from bouncing up and down. So I think that's going to be absolutely fantastic. I am so tickled. It turned out really, really great. Um, you know, good seating area, uh, plenty of space to be able to work, and then of course, you know, I have, uh, I have the storage under here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so nice. Uh, but equally as well, it's, it's not as deep, not as far coming out as it used to, um, which gives Joan and I more space to be able to walk through when all the slides are in so that we can come have lunch. You know, when we pull over like at a rest stop or something like that, we can come in here and have our lunch and be able to, you know, get in here into the living area and gain access to the countertops, make it a little bit easier without pulling the slides out. Um, the, the other thing too is we had eight inches of space over here and then the monitor hung out on this side a good bit and that's given me almost another foot of space uh, between the recliners that are here and um, that is a huge benefit um, 
you know, it doesn't seem like much, but when you're, you know, when you only have a 40 foot fifth wheel and you gain a foot in space in your seating area, wow, you know, home run. Um, you know, Merry Christmas, Jerry and Joan. <laughs> but I think this is going to work out well. Um, you know, the, sit, the chair slides over here when we travel uh, to get it out of the way and frees up the space. Um, and, you know, and everything slides, you know, down toward the, the recliner slide down and those types of things. Price-wise, uh, I'm right at $100 to be able to build this desk. Uh, $60 worth of plywood, uh, a piano hinge, a couple latches, a little bit of stain, a little bit of polyurethane. Um, you know, that's not bad to have a nice custom desk like this, and it's very, very substantial. It's not going to go anywhere nice workspace, all this storage that I never had before, and then being able to, you know, properly secure my PC. Uh, I had this kind of a Mickey Mouse way that I was doing it before, but this is going to be far, far better and make sure that I don't damage my PC. Oh, and why do I use a PC? Well, I do, aside from I Love RV Life, I do a lot of commercial editing for clients, a lot of Photoshop work, graphic work, that type of stuff, and I need horsepower. So a laptop just doesn't work for me. It takes too much time to do renders and editing. So I've got a purpose-built PC for that. So uh, with that, um, you know, I needed a good place to be able to secure it and then have my nice big double monitors. Yay! <laughs> you know, it makes it so nice to be able to work. Well, this has turned out to be a great project. Time-wise, it probably took... I'm going to say right at about six days to do this, five to six days. Um, probably about two-ish, three-ish to be able to build it, cut it, put it all together. Uh, and these weren't eight-hour days by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but what really took so much time was staining, let, giving it, letting it dry for a day, polyurethane, let it dry for a day, sand, another coat of polyurethane, let it dry another day. That's what really took so much time, was just going through the finishing process, um, not the actual build itself. But it's very substantial. Gosh, I just love this thing. Look, if you want to go to the blog at ilovervlife.com, you'll see that at the end of this video, or you can just do a search on the ilovervlife.com page. There's a little section up at the top that says search, and you can type in desk search, and this will pop right back up if you can't find it. And uh, in there will be a detailed blog with a little bit more information. It'll have all my Amazon links where I bought the different types of things that I have here. The plywood came from the big box store. Um, you know, the things like um, uh, stain and polyurethane came from the big box store. But hinges, latches, you know, those types of things. Where do you get those? And then that really nice uh, monitor uh, unit down there. It's very heavy duty. I want something very substantial that's not going to shake around when I travel. And I'll have a link on there for that as well. So, you know, that all gives you a very, very nice, substantial workspace while you're out on the road. Look, we're out two months, three months sometimes at a time. Come home for a short break, take back off again. I still have to run my business. I now have me a proper desk space to where I can get my work done. Look, if you have any questions, about this desk build. I'd be glad to fill those for you and answer them however I can. Go to ilovervlife.com. Look at the top. You'll see a contact uh, and you can send me you know, a detailed message there or if you just want to make a comment uh, on the uh, YouTube section, uh, I'll, I'll always respond to the comments, I'll always respond to them. So I'd be glad to field any types of questions you may have in this build. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this build. I hope you found it very, very informative. You know, I just love this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, and I love RV life too.